Hi, this is Jilly from Jilly's Creative Corner. I just wanted to talk to you today about a promotion that um, Stamping Up are doing. It's, uh, it's called Celebration and it's for every £45 you spend, you get to choose a nice free uh, gift. So, it's out of this little brochure. So this little brochure you um, can choose, um, there's this beautiful papers. They're double sided, they're 12 by 12. So you've got the flowers the one side, but then you've got the plainer um, ones the other side. I mean, that's got flowers but much smaller. And that's got leaves on the back of that one, stripes on the back of that one, and so on. So you get the best of both worlds if you want it big and bold or if you want it a little bit more subtle. So that's one of the free gifts. There's 12 sheets in the pack um, and they're both all, tw all 12 are double sided, two of each design. So then the second uh, one of the others you could choose if you didn't want the paper, you could choose the um, cute little donkey stamp set, Darling Donkeys. Um, it's proved very popular uh, and you've got he he haw uh, you're the best and hey there friend it's your birthday that's another one or you could choose this the sentiments so um, there's uh, the bad news is I forgot your birthday the good news is I forgot your age I wish somebody would forget my age. I was 59 the other day. I'm sliding down to 60 now. Uh, so we also get a nice little balloon, some candles, and then a happy birthday. And you've got some other sentiments there. So you could choose that one instead, or you could have um, this beautiful paper here. Um, there's 48 sheets, 12 of each, of one double-sided design. Uh, in four different colours and these are 12 uh, these are six by six the others were size uh, were 12 by 12 these ones are six by six so um, the next one is um, that you could choose from is this corner bouquet so as it says really it sits nicely into the corner of a, of a card and then you can put your sentiment above um, some nice flowers and uh, leaves in the bouquet there. It's got a small bouquet, a larger one, a leaf and a little flower. There's also this beautiful um, Heal Your Heart. Um, you could choose this one. I absolutely love that font. Um, thank you. You also have Sorry For Your Loss. Um, and uh, we're in this together, which we are at the moment, aren't we? We're having a bit of a tough time. Then there is uh, some more papers. These are very bold papers. Um, they're very bold on the one side, but again, um, they're more subtle um, on the reverse. Like these ones are 12 by 12. Um, two of each design, six double-sided designs. So all those that I've just shown you are if you spend £45, you could choose one of those. However, if you spend £90, then you get to choose either you can choose uh, a stamp set like this this has got a lot more stamps in it it's like a, a, a double stamp so you can stamp your bird and then color it in with this, that stamp on top the same with that leaf and that leaf goes there that flower the flower there the butterfly and the little leaf there it's also got quite a few uh, lovely sentiments which is uh, best wishes thank you so much thinking of you Hope, love, hello friend. It's also got um, like some little dots, the, those there. It just adds texture to a card. Um, you can make it very subtle, but it just uh, brings the card to life. So that's a 90 pound spend. 
and your other £90 spend you could uh, choose to have these um, 12 sheets of um, 12 by 12 paper um, and this stamp set. So this is one bundle all together for a £90 spend. So if you didn't want this bundle or this stamp set because you'd spent £90 but it, it, it wasn't what you wanted to um, use your free freebies on, then you could just go back and choose two of any of these. So any of the £45 ones, you could just choose two of them. So I hope you like what you see. There's something for everybody really in there. So the card I'm going to make today is using this bundle from the annual catalogue. It um, fulfills what you need to get a free um, product from so uh, celebration uh, because this bundle um, is exactly £45. So all the sentiments on here, you can use the dies uh, to cut them out. The, the little one there will be for you, to, from, hello baby. Obviously the bigger sentiments are going to need the bigger dies. It's great value for money this, um, so this bundle because you get uh, such a variety of shapes and sizes of dies. Um, so they, they will be really practical for a lot of um, stamp sets that you may have. Um, and these sentiments, they're just lovely. I can't thank you enough, you know. People are helping uh, pe people out all the time. And it's nice to receive a card. Um, hello, baby. I'm so excited that I'm... I'm actually going to be a grandma for the first time this year. Uh, I've got a little grandson arriving in February. Not the best time, sadly, with lockdown and everything. But uh, And who knows when we're going to be able to see him because uh, my son and his wife live in London. So we're in Gloucestershire, so we're not allowed to travel. But uh, you know what? And we're not the only ones in this in this boat, are we? So I've got to, we'll have photos and till I can get my hands on him. I'm so excited, I can't wait. Anyway, so we'll get started. Um, this is the bundle, the bundle we're using. This one is £45. We are also using this stamp set um, for the that flower. This is the card we're going to be making today. Um, I'm carrying on with the theme of the note cards um, because if you have bought note cards then um, I just can't want to carry on showing you that there's so many uses for them. They're lovely little cards. If you don't have the note cards then you need to, pe you need to um, cut a piece of cardstock that is five inches by seven and you would um, score down the middle at three and a half and that would give you the same size card um, base as I've got here but Stamping Up do some beautiful um, little, a little set of uh, 20 so you get the envelopes and the card bases. Again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp onto the card base with this lovely borders. So you've got lots of uh, borders of abound, it's called. Beautiful fonts. Uh, thank you, best wishes, hello, love and for you. Um, so they did the, the, it's also got one that you could have used uh, for Christmas. It's got the snowflakes. <coughs> it's also got some beautiful leaves and um, the flower one, which we're going to use today. 
and this is just swirls of leaves and flowers and we're just going to stamp them today um, and not colour them in because I'm going to be using um, coloured ink to stamp them but you could uh, stamp them in black ink and colour them in um, you know you could just use them as like a border but I just love that you could uh, do like a whole um, background just using this stamp set um, so that's what I'm going to show you today I've done it in three colours I've got another one that I made earlier that uh, in three completely different colours so you'll see the difference so today I'm going to do um, these colours which is um, again all stamping up products um, that red one is cherry cobbler this one here is pumpkin pie and this one here is uh, Cajun craze and this one is the pumpkin pie which is from there so this cardstock is cherry cobbler and this is whisper white it's actually basic white I think we've changed the name now I think they're called basic white um, so sorry to confuse if you're still looking at whisper white uh, it's now basic white um, then I um, I've got some this is actually ribbon and it's part of a pack from the main catalog the annual catalog it's for evergreenery it's a combination pack and you had a, a roll of very vanilla and then you had this um, gold and when I started to use it on the cards, I was just going to do some loops round, but then it started fraying and I thought, actually, I really love it. It's a bit feathery. And so I did change my mind, uh, which all, all uh, creative people do. I'm, I, well, I know my friends do, so I'm sure you all do. You start something, you think, oh, actually, I quite like it like this. So I actually, I'll show you how I did it, but I stuck I stuck the ribbon onto the back here and then when I'd stuck it on with glue dots, I um, just opened it out. I unswirled it uh, so that it was feathery. And then these are the uh, gilded gems. So they just put two there and one there. So let's get started I'm trying to get my camera working this morning because I realised that my other cards probably to you guys are upside down <laughs> so I am new to this so I've tried to work the camera much better for this one so you get your cardstock fold it down the, center, down the fold line and bone folder it And then I found it easy bringing it back towards me. So I'll pop that to one side. I've already put this on my, I've already put the stamp onto a block just to save a bit of time. So I'm gonna start with Cherry Cobbler. Okay, so first of all, it just about fits from there to there to do a diagonal. So just ink up your and then hold it down like that. So pop the first one down. I won't close it, but I will keep it away from me because I do usually get in quite a mess. I come in with pumpkin pie because that's the brighter of the two. Ink it up again. Because Cajun Craze is a darker um, orange colour than pumpkin pie, I do just bring that straight in. I don't clean it off again. But if it was a completely different colour, I definitely would always clean it off. So I'm bringing that in a 
Okay. And now I'm going to clean it off. You can use um, baby wipes to clean off your stamps. Um, I just find the stamping scrub so easy. Now I'm going back in with my cherry cobbler. Make sure there's no fluff on there. And basically you just carry on the process um, all the way along to the end. So you follow that uh, colour combination all the way along to the end. Just pop the last one in there. So that bit at the moment is now finished. So I finish with that flower. Finish with that. So I just pop that over there for now. So each one of these sentiments will fit into one of these framelits. So I'm going to, today we're going to be using that framelit there and this framelit here. So in, in the catalogue, these are now dies. Um, we always used to call them framelits. Um, and I've been stamping up quite a long time, so I'm still thinking in the old term of framelits, but they are dies. So if you see the, I think Jilly said framelits. Does she mean dies? Yes, she does. I mean dies. Okay, so I'm bringing in two pieces of cardstock. So for this piece, you need a piece that's... Uh, about two and three quarters by four and a half. So you can pop that, that fits in there. So it'll be two and three quarters by four and a half. You could probably get away with a bit smaller, maybe four and a quarter, the three by two, and that's to fit that in. So then I get my stamping up um, mini. This is so handy, it's new this year. Um, and it's put so portable, so light, so handy. So you pull, pull those two down. And then you have um, to make your sandwich. So for framelits, you need plate number one. That's handy. You need plate number one plate number two. This is also plate number two, but you need two of them. So you put that down there. And then you pop your piece of cardstock on there, your framelit, uh, your die. <laughs> I have to get used to calling it dies. Your die down. So it's down onto uh, the paper, not up. I know on some machines you can get, you have to turn it up like that, but on stamping up, you put the cardstock down first, then your die face down with the cutting edges down, then number two back on top. That's your sandwich for. And then you pop it through there and you just turn the handle, start it off. your beautiful shape all cut out for you. So that's that one there. Just pop that to the side. Finish
finish with that framelit. So now we're going to do the same again. So you've got your, your one, your two, your piece of cardstock, your die on top, and your another two on top. And you pop it through. If you hear it crack like that, it's fine. It's meant to do that. You haven't broken anything. Um, it's just how it's going through the machine, but it is fine. And then you can when you finish with it, you just pop the sides up. It's so portable and compact to sit on your desk. Um, so there's that. I might bin at the moment. I have to pop it on the side there. Okay, so there's your two um, dies that you that you've just cut out, or your shapes that you just cut out with using your dies. Pop that there. So this one, again, you'll you'll get used to me using my grid paper. So I'm going to pop that just so I can get it straight. And then I'm going to come in with um, your friendship uh, is a blessing. So I'm going to ink up my sentiment with pumpkin pie. the sentiment okay so what we want to do now we want to get our ribbon and it's the forever forever greenery ribbon uh, combo pack so it comes so it's like that but when it untwists it frays out I have cut that bit off so it's not but this is how this is how it frays you can unravel it and make it all floaty it's actually a beautiful ribbon my nails aren't surviving so well are they with that without my nail lady Right, so what I'll do is I'll get my glue dot. This is my pokey tool. We actually have a new tool now. This is the old. You can tell how long I've been stumping up. This is what we used to have. So this is the old tool that we used to have from, um, from Stumpy Up, but now they've spoiled us by giving us this tool here. So it's called uh, Take Your Pick. It's nine pounds and it does all sorts. It's the multi-purpose pick up and precision tool, simplifies meticulous tasks. So there's a tacky uh, putty end to pick up sequins and, and things um, on one end. The other end has two changeable double-ended tips with paper piercer and a mini spatula, small stylus and large stylus. So the styluses are what you use when you score um, score cards. Um, I'll make a video with using a, a store scorer um, in the future. Um, but so now that it all comes in one, so that's that's the uh, scorer. So you get a, a thicker end and a thinner end. Um, that's the putty end, and then you get a pokey tool, which is that is the old one. This is now the new one. So you get it on the other end, and those ends fit in. So they spoiled us now. 
So I'm just going to use my pokey tool because I can't find my pickup tool. I work between my craft studio, but since lockdown, I've tended to work from home because I live at uh, home with my husband and my um, 92 year old dad. So it just meant that I could keep an eye on things here um, and not be at the studio, which is still at home, but um, it's, it's up. It, we live on a farm and it's at the top of the farm as opposed to being near our home. We have two beautiful Labradors as well. So we're, we're locked down, but you know what? Well, we're all right. We, we do have uh, we do have a lot to be thankful for. Okay, so because this one's already split open, I'm going to just pop this on the end there. So I'm going to put I've put uh, glue dots all the way around. Uh, this is what's going to face up. So I've got glue dots there. Actually, I think I might pop it on that one because then I can open it out like that. So then I can just snip. Snip that there because that's in there. Now we'll just open this end a little bit. Just opening it up so I can pop one here and just snip this bit off. So as I said earlier, this wasn't my plan how I was going to do it. I was going to keep it all, you know, just in, in the twists. But it, I thought it looked so pretty when it started fanning out that I thought, oh well, I'm going to to do a bit different then and I liked the outcome and I think this is the thing with crafting isn't it I've always told uh, my classes when I was could do at home you know in my studio classes in my studio I always said to um, my girls at came there's no such thing as wrong in crafting it's what it's creative so you know, if uh, if it wasn't what you intended in the first place, so what? If it still looks good and you've just twisted it up a bit and done something a bit different, then that's great. Nobody knows, do they? Nobody knows apart from your head, what was in your head at the time when you started to design things. I don't want to pop that down because I don't want it to stick. So I just want a bit more here. Because what I'll do is I won't leave all those as long as that. What I'll do is I'll cut some uh, at the back so that it doesn't stick out all over the place. Right, so... You know, that looks pretty messy, how it is, but you're not going to see it because you're going to put some stray naughty bits that just didn't want to stay where I said. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop this um, sentiment up on dimensionals. So this is a dimensional pack, but you, there's no waste. I think I said that on an earlier video. 
So because I've got a big straight line along there, I'm just going to cut that patch off there, just pop that along. So I want it inside the stitching because otherwise it will um, probably ruin the, how the stitching looks. So inside the stitching. And then what I did was, I looked at the co the corners of that to the corner of that. So I popped that down there, pop that down there. So then you have it like that. Then I've just got my scissors. I always keep um, ribbon scissors for ribbon um, because paper tends to blunt your scissors. So I just keep special scissors. Not everybody does. I'm going to cut that off there, cut that there, cut that there. So now I've got my sentiment ready to go onto my card. I'm going to use um, Stamp and Seal Plus to stick it uh, down, so I'll just pop that over. Just put three pieces on there, and then pop it. Again, I will use my grid paper to line this up. And then what I tend to do in here is I can probably go two flowers in, two flowers in. Tend to eyeball it. And then just to finish it off, I'll get my little gilded gems. They're so pretty and really sparkly. And I do love sparkle. So I'll put a little bit one there. there's your finished that's the one I made yesterday just to show you and there's your finished card now this ribbon here is just giving it a bit of texture a bit of something to catch your eye and these beautiful little glitter I absolutely love these actually so you could rather than leaving it blank inside you could open that up and just with one of your colors we just go for cherry cobbler. Pick it up and maybe just put a little bit in there, just in the side there. I think probably what I'll do is just put a line of three colours. So cherry cobbler, I've gone out that far. Pumpkin pie, I've bought it in a little bit. And the cudgeon craze, I'm going to bring in just a little bit more. And it just brings a bit of the front of the card into the back of the card and then you'll write your message. Um, you know, that's probably a message for, a, you know, to send your friend a message or it still could be a birthday card. You know, you could have a sentiment inside for, you know, wishing you a lovely day or I'm going to leave my blanket at the moment because I'm not sure who it's for. Uh, we made today. 
and just to show you a different colour combination uh, this is a card I did uh, the other day with the same stamp set um, this time I spaced out um, them a bit wider with a bit of a gap between this one I decided to actually fill it it's just the two options how you can make pretty much the same card using the same um, things this stamp set actually uh, this thank you was actually part of the borders abound it was that thank you there um, so it wasn't a separate stamp set um, and the ribbon I can't think of the name of it at the moment but it's in the annual catalogue the main catalogue so I hope you've enjoyed this um, video um, hope you like the stamp set and uh, I'm sure you'll agree that this, the celebration um, products are beautiful and uh, well worth a look at. If you've enjoyed this video, it would be great if you could subscribe. Um, I'm just starting out with YouTube, so um, it would be fabulous if you could subscribe or like my videos. If you've got any comments, put it in the comments uh, thing and I'll get back to you uh, as soon as I can. It's been my pleasure to do these videos. I hope this time you can actually see um, what I'm doing because I'm really sorry that I didn't realise that I was working upside down for you to actually watch. So I hope I've got the camera angle correct uh, this time. Thanks very much and uh, see you next time.